Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is the Monday painting video. <laughs> What's the Monday painting video? What's it all about? Well, the Monday painting video is essentially a painting video, but the model or models in question are voted on by you guys from last week's Weekly Wednesday, which is a weekly Q&A. In that video, I show you guys a host of models and you guys vote on what you want me to paint for Monday's painting video. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so with two votes, Necron death marks. So there was one vote for any Necron and there was one Pacific vote for the death marks. Now these are absolutely lovely sculpts. If you buy a box of death marks, you can make them as death marks or immortals. In game terms, they are pretty tasty as well with their precision weapons and their ability to shoot a unit that drops in um, within 18 inches of them. Now, points of interest on this model, there isn't that many. For me, the gun. Now, I'm not really a big, big fan of making guns look absolutely fantastic, right? but the gun is, you know, a point of interest. And his face, his cyclopsian one eye, because there's a couple of lines coming off that can just really get some energy going through there and stuff like that. The rest of the model is pretty bug standard, Necron. So the first, first thing I've done with the base, actually, it was obviously graveled, undercoat black. I then just got some steel legion drab and, you know, dabbed it in here and there. As it's still a little bit wet, but as it dries off, you'll see a big difference on it. it. Like the black will come through here and there and it's probably look like gravel. I could also go over it with some bane blade brown when it's dry, but I, I don't tend to do that. I used to, but it's got, it was too, too tedious to keep doing that. Anyway, I think the first color I should start with should be some rune lord brass and this is going to be a very very straightforward simple step i'm going to take some and i'm going to paint all of this i say skin it doesn't have skin but all of the normal body parts on him his legs his chest piece but it does have a little gold a little bit in the middle necron symbol to it's going to be painted gold Maybe water that down a bit too much, but I'll sort that out. I'm going to crack on and do the rest of them. Right, so I'm going through the room and on them. It's looking okay. It's not. I'm not overly happy with the way it's come out. I think, I don't know, there was very little in the pot. I think maybe the pot has just gone over. Like it's, it should be, shouldn't be used anymore. No, it's a bit of a weird one that is. Very little, it's just all dry around the top there. Hmm. Maybe I have had that too long. I have another one to open anyway. So I might just open the other one and just give it a little, not a full coat again, but just wear a bit that I'm not happy with. Now I'm going to take some polished blue. It's a very old metallic blue. If you want to achieve something like this, then you start with uh, lead belcher and then just come with like a blue type of wash or like not firm blue water it down even more but it's actually an amazing blue all my necron guys have this on them so i'm going to do the color paste on top of him the color paste at the back of his head Basically, get all of this back part of him, apart from his spinal column. Such an amazing color. So I'm going to crack on and do the rest of him and the other guys. Right, so I opened the, the second part. That's the second part. 
there's the the other one so i don't know what's wrong with that i would say it's just gone past this time so i gave them a quick little second coat and they're actually looking a lot better a lot more snazzy and it hasn't popped yet because there's still two big parts of it that haven't been done what i'm going to do now i'm going to come in with some loft uh, uh, sorry youth and gray and this is a very very simple step i'm going to take a little bit on the brush and i'm going to get the, the, the head It just clips a bit of uh, rune rod grass because I see a bit of orange into it. Just some out. It is an annoying head to paint because there's a little bit behind that little shield in the back of it I can't seem to get my brush into. But we get here. Straight away, that's already starting to pop. The way I did it as well, that little that little black line across off his head, that's um, that's a recess. So when I come to add all the rest of it to it, it's going to really pop off even more. So I'm going to crack on to the rest of the. I'm going to do the weapon like that as well. I think I actually should do some part of the weapon. I'm thinking maybe the barrel here. And the little barrel at the bottom here. I'm looking at the end of the barrel thinking that as well, but I'm not sure yet. Definitely this little ball in the back of them as well. Okay, I'm going to go into the try and get it in between each little nozzle bit. Because when I come in to do the light effect. They give me exactly what I need. Mm. It does have a little little bit there. With these bits as well, what's on there? Now it doesn't really matter if I go over onto the other parts of the gun because, like I said, when I come in to do the the green glow effect, if I have overshot it. And add the green to it, so we're gonna just make it give it like a, a very easy light effect without actually having to paint too much. So I'm gonna do that on the rest of them as well. Like I said, next I'm gonna come in with some retribute armor. As I was saying, I was interrupted there. Retribute armor, and I'm only gonna do one simple step with this retribute armor. I'm gonna get the piece in the middle. Hear the rain in the background absolutely hammering down. It has been all day. Let's get that little chest piece in the middle. For some reason, the armor seems to be looks a bit better. So I'm going to do that on all of them. My oh, brush was too wet. <laughs> That's why I looked at the, the retrieve armor thinking, what the hell's going on here? So now I'm going to come in with some army painters true copper i've used this color a few times it's not my favorite but my copper's gone a bit moody so i'm going to come in i'm going to get the spine with this true copper 
I think, in my opinion, this copper doesn't come out, it comes out too bright, more like a gold. To me, it comes out too much like gold. But that's an easy fix afterwards. I can wash it down with some Agrax Earth Shade or, or something like that. So I'm going to apply that to all of them. Right, so next I'm going to come in with Lead Belcher. Let's move these out of the way so the camera doesn't stop trying to pick up on them. There's a spine. So to me, it looks too much gold. But anyway, I'm going to take this Lead Belcher. And I'm going to pick out all the other bits on the gun. Notice the little back barrel at the back. What I've done is I brushed down so they're a little. Uh, recess in there stays dark I'm not a big fan of um, the massive Massive details on guns and making them look, you know, over the top really amazing. Because to me, as far as I'm concerned, if you have one 9mm gun and then another one, the only thing's different might be the sights or the magazine size or anything like that. But apart from that, it's all the same. They're not like really elaborate or nothing like that, unless it's a custom weapon. Your basic Necrons wouldn't have customized weapons. So I'm going to crack on did that on the rest. Right, so now I'm going to come with some corn red. And again, this is two very simple steps. The first thing I'm going to do is well, I'm going to get the wire here first of all, so it makes the gun stand out even more. A simple thing is going to make it really pop there. Even though I said before I don't like making a piece of a gun, but the gun is a point of interest on this model. The next thing is does he have one eye or two eyes? Looks like one right in the middle, I see it now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come in, and then again, now I have overshot it, I didn't see that, but that's not a big issue, because as long as I get it, I can come back in with a, a, a smaller, tidier brush and just tidy it up. I'm going to do that on all of them. Right, so next I'm going to come in with some white scars. And the first thing I'm going to do with this lovely colour is a switch brush. I'm going to tidy up the face a little bit. Make sure that I get all of that from around the edge of the eye. Make sure it looks amazing. Now the top part where that little crease is, I'm going to definitely get that as white as I can because that's going to stand out even more on the, the model. And I just thought with the eyeball, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit over because it's like a light source, isn't it? So I'm tidy up as much as I can, but it doesn't really have to be perfect.
probably give her a couple of coats on the head just to make it as white as I can. Then what I'm going to do is come along to the other bits and just not be like really precise with it, but just try and give a bit of white in here, here and here, here and there. I'm going to repeat the same process on all the rest of them. And so the next one I'm going to come and remove some moot green. I'm going to do that moot green. I'm going to come in and get these balls. I'm going to get the ball in the back of them as well. So not only has that broke the gun up more, it's also broke the model, broke the model back of the model up as well. And do that on the rest of them. Right, for me, there's only one more thing to do to make these guys better ready, which is the whites of the guns. Now, I could come in with Moot Green and do it like that. That's grand. But I'm actually going to try Test Track Glow. It's a technical paint. Now, I think I used this once before and I wasn't too happy with it. Well, maybe not because it's not even open. Okay, so let's give this a go. It's left an older gun part that's still white. I don't know if I'm going to be too chuffed with that. No. Bad drop in the model, you're plum. Yeah, I'm not too not too excited about that, to be honest. Oh you course you idiot. Of course. Ah oh, and I got it on camera. Brilliant. It's the first time I've ever done that in a bloody long time. Right. <laughs> Let me just wait for that to dry on this one. Tidy this crap up. Um and then uh, see how it is. If that's okay, I'll do that on the rest of them. If not, I'll come back and do the green on them. Right, I'm glad that happened on camera. Because so you guys now can see how easy it is to do stuff like that. Normally, if I'm using a wash or some sort of contrast paint, I have it to the side. I just happen to put it in front of me and just... And I wouldn't mind, it's a brand new part. That's what's left. <laughs> Unless you just open it there and then, that's what's left of it. Oh my goodness me. And also, I'm not happy with it. I don't like it. I think it looks horrible. Maybe I'm not using it right. I don't know. But I just don't like the way it looks. It looks, doesn't, looks horrible to me. So I'm going to go back to Moot Green. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to really water it down. It's going to be a nice little wash. And I'm going to come in and just wash it in there. I think that looks a lot better than the other one already. We got that. This is that. I don't like this, the test rack blow. Let me check your opinions down below and let me know as, as always, guys. I'm going to do that on the, the rest of them. And uh, I'll come back to you again. Right, so for all intensive purposes, these guys are about ready. What that means is I put them on the table and away we go. Now what I'm going to do is take them beyond about ready standard. There's only a few things that I'm really going to do to them, to be honest with you. 
the first thing is I'm going to come back with some more white scars and I'm just going to start highlighting the face sorry beyond better standard can be uh edge highlight could be a normal highlight with layer paint stuff like that or with you know any any sort of color can be a dry brush can be a wash can be contrast paint can be um wet blending technical paint dry paint there's so many different bits and pieces but like i said i'm going to come with some white scars and i'm just going to start highlighting bits of the the head just to make it pop up even more I don't want to get the whole thing I just want to get a few bits of it so it really does just stand out even more that's the first thing I'm going to do the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white scars and mix it with the metallic blue it's not going to be a big massive um, difference in, in the colour but what I'm going to do is come along and just edge highlight all along this top kind of place. Just barely see it. I think I need to add some more white to the wet palette. But anyway, I'm going to crack on and do that with all of them and then come back to you again. Right, so I mixed up some of that blue and the white scars. I'm going to come back and show you properly now. see how it looks it's a very simple thing even though the camera keeps trying to lock onto the models behind it's a very simple thing to do just two nice two colors together one of them being the white and this is that's how you that's how you um highlight metallics as well so say you're wanting to do um gold you can mix the gold together or you could come in with some sort of coppery color and just mix that with a bit of white and then just dry brush over the top there's so many different ways of doing it so i'm going to crack on and do that with the rest of them and then come back to you for final thoughts Right, and these guys are done. Very happy with them. Very pleased. Touch that glow I'm not too pleased about. I did actually come over this with some moot green, water down moot green afterwards just to do a bit of a tidy up. Um, I mean, comments or comments, you know, any comments or anything you want to say about these guys or this paint job, check on blows always, guys. Massive thank you to everyone who voted. Because, you know, I really enjoy seeing all your votes coming in for different bits and pieces. Tune in this weekly Wednesday for to vote again for next next Monday's painting video. As well as, you know, questions and questions that are asked to me and I answer to give you answer, my, my opinion of the answers. There will be no Necrons in the vote for this week because they won for today. So if you're new to the channel and seeing this for the first time, Hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube to this video more and more people, which makes this amazing community of you guys grow even more. And uh, I'm sure there'll be some horror stories shared in the comment section about, you know, you guys spilling paints. None oil will probably be in that list somewhere. There's a whole new part of Test Fact Glow. I didn't don't like it too much anyway, but that's not the point. I could I, I could have eventually done a paint, you know, cut the paint colours and applied it on there and uh, achieved what I was you know looking for, and then figured okay, that's how we use it properly. The same as the the polar glacier. I I used this once and I was like, don't like that. How the hell, you know? 
I'm just destroying everything today. What the hell's going on? I need to stop and he's going to this workshop. <laughs> anyway, guys, hit the buttons for me. Comments below as always. Until next time, take it easy.